Huh. Well, this is gonna go in the next episode, I guess. But, I made a drink that was, that I never found before, okay? So I guess I showed this. Oh, no, it's not ghost again! Whoa. <laughs> it plays the exact same noise for the reason, I imagine. No, no! This time I've chosen a slightly different way of making my entrance! Hmm? What? Well, showing up the same way over and over gets old after a while. Besides, don't video conferences feel futuristic and cool? So you're not gonna try out a new drink this time, boss? Oh, don't worry. I've sent a representative to taste it in my steed. Should be arriving soon. A representative? It's a speedy spirit. Don't worry, he's a harmless, friendly little ghost. He's allowed to taste that new drink. I guess this occurs when Egad is researching the stuff. Wow. Oh, mercy! It appears to have been just heavenly. That loser stole my drink! He gave me what appears to be a, tri half, a third of the Triforce. Alternatively, it could be a power could be a power chip thingy from Cave Story, I don't know. Thanks for that sampling! Here's a little something I invented in my spare time. Maybe it'll aid you. You got the Great Force! <laughs> next time I'll come in person. Well, honestly, I don't think there's going to be a next time. Well, that was fun. Bye. I don't know when this is going. It might be in the end of the previous episode, it might be the start of one. I don't know. Either way, I'm gonna stop recording. Hey there, old Yoshi here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. In the last episode, we got all the bean bean fruits needed to make the Yo stuff at Yoshi Theater a reality. And we all, all it might have been this episode, it might have been the previous episode, who knows, but we got some new stuff. We got Chuckle Blend and a Chekasino. So for defense. Plus four. I'm gonna go Mario, and for speed, I'm gonna go Luigi. Alright. And so, in this episode, we're just gonna make our way to Yoshi Theater and, you know, do all that. Just need to go up here and. Alright, up here now. And we don't actually have the yo neon eggs yet. We need to go feed the hungry Yoshis. I'm so hungry. Wow, fruit. Thank you. Yoshi. <laughs> At first, they just taste like beans. But then the flavor of fruit oozes out. Bee fruit is the best. Oh, you can take that. Oh yeah. Don't really look any different to me, but if it's a neon egg, then take it. So now, at least we don't have to skip through all the dialogue. Um. We got a red one, we got an orange one, and over here we're gonna get a purple one and a blue one. <laughs> Yoshis are so adorable. I love Yoshis. I'm so glad that in the new Super Smash Brothers, Yoshi's actually standing upright. I mean, see, look, Yoshi's are standing upright in a Game Boy Advance game. And yet he couldn't in Brawl, or Melee, or N64 Smash. It just makes perfect sense that he should stand upright like he actually does in the games. Like, the, the only games I can think of where he doesn't stand upright like that are... Mario World and New Super Mario Brothers, we and you. We and you and... I don't know. Yellow one's over here. Yes. This is the last one, and then we can go hand in the neon eggs to... Our... Teacher? I don't know. Bottles. Or... Bottle. I don't know. Bottles. He's the mole. From Banjo-Kazooie. I don't know. Anyways. We got all the neon eggs. Hmm, well done. I did well asking you two. My neon eggs are beautiful. On the sign you go. 
green, blue, purple, pink, red, orange, and yellow. <laughs> you did it! You did it! Actually, it looks pretty cool. I don't know how they're getting it to change colors, though. Hooray! It's complete! Banzai! Thanks to you, my theater is now complete! Marvelous! Very well, as promised. Here is your reward. Three episodes in a row! Beanstar! You got a Beanstar piece. Only one more to go. Excellent! We're going to be rather busy preparing for a grand opening. Pardon us. I don't believe there's anything you can actually watch at Yoshi Theater. Neon eggs are pretty. Yay! Alright, so that's all the stuff at Yoshi Theater wrapped up and done and taken care of. So, next stop... If you look at the map, we need to go to Chuckle Luck Woods. So let's go do that, shall we? We'll take our little convenient warp pipe. Woohoo! The Chuckle Luck Woods. It's been a while, hasn't it? Bain it, wain it, wain it, meh. Actually, we should check the map to see where we might want to go. There is a place over here that we never went to. It's only a couple rooms away. What a dum, what a dum, ba da dum. Right up here. I believe we went here at one point, but then we discovered this guy in our way. We know what to do with these guys. Burn Luigi! Of course. What other solution would there ever be? Alright. Money, money, money. Money, money, money. Money, 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 money. Oh, it's one of those. I don't I didn't really register. I don't like this. Well, this place looks a little grayish. Hmm. Down here. Now, this is Winkle Coliseum. Surviving, it is hard. What is this place? This is Winkle Coliseum reception. Are you up to the challenge? Sure. Entrance fee is 500 coins. Pay 500 coins and the rest is free. 500 coins. We'll pay. That's what my name is. And we just pick those. You go learn the secrets of Winkle Coliseum. Next time we enter, we too will win. Enter Winkle Coliseum and win. And Winkles acknowledge you. Okay. Want to try? Sure, why not? I don't know what this is. Good luck. Another mini game, eh? Welcome to Winkle Coliseum. Ready to try to cola bounce? I believe I remember how this works. You press the A buttons and basically bounce these around, and I usually just like to stick... It's pretty simple. A makes Mario move, B makes Luigi move. That gives a power-up. You basically just want to knock, bounce these back into others. And we, the time we have is until that snail at the bottom. It actually is a little deceptively tough, because you can't just, like... You can't just, like... Hit them, you actually need to sort of aim them... In order to hit the statues, because that's what counts for the score. Not actually bouncing them, but bouncing them into the statues. I don't know how much to beat. Think we have already beaten it though. So yeah, it's a very simple mini game. I don't even know what I'm doing half the time, and I still beat the high score. The mini games in this game are not very difficult. 
I like how pretty much all of these do have to do with a mini game, though. All the bean star pieces, like the vast majority of them, have to do with the beans. Have to have to do with uh, mini games. Oh, incredible! You did it. The high score is yours. You are champion. Take this. The Winkles acknowledge you. You got the Winkle card. That looks like a shell. So we didn't actually get a Bean Star piece from that, but we are now on our way to actually getting the Bean Star piece because yes, in case you hadn't figured it out, this is where the Bean Star piece is. There's another Winkle up there, but I. Ah, oh, there's just all that's up here in one of these boxes. A B A B A B A B A B A B A B A B A B A A Um I'm good. Alright. We couldn't pass this guy before without this shell. That is the Winkle card. You are the Coliseum champions. Winkles acknowledge you. Good to be acknowledged, isn't it? Alright. Anything over here? Yes, there is a nut. I'm nuts about nuts! I think I've said that one already. <gasps> oh, no you don't! Oh, what is this? Boo, I say! You guys again? But I found this treasure first! It's mine, see? Popple, you do not want to mess with us. You don't have a rookie anymore. Oh, sure, you guys are real tough, teaming up on me! Don't think you can beat me just because I'm alone! It's my solo debut on the battle line, see? Alright, Popple for the third time. Nah. Hey! Now I'll have to steal my hammer. Let's attack with fireballs! Smash the A button! Lady view ow. Well, that didn't work. We can't use knockback brothers, but Thunder Brothers is easy enough. It's just B B B. B B B. I didn't hit B right in time. Darn it. Darn you. You just stole a mushroom. Do I really want to try this? Go for it. Oh, I need to hit B. I, that was the closest I've ever come. Alright. Also note that we can't use the knockback brother since Popple stole our hammer. Cheater! A. B! Ah! I need to let go of A when that appears and then hit B. That's how that works. I'm actually learning how that works. It's taking me time, but I'm learning how that works reason that did less damage. Oh, hey, we have our hammer back. Leedy do. Alright. A. A. B. 137. Great indeed. I think Knockback Brothers is a little bit stronger. Well, like, we killed him. We disintegrated him into dust. For the third time. Alright. I don't know. Power? Four. Not bad. Not bad at all. And two in an episode. Two for the price of one. Queen Bean. You got a piece of the Bean Star. Now you have all four pieces. Hurry, back to Bean Bean Castle. No, but I'm not giving up, see? He just dug underground. Okay, then fine. You can do whatever he wants, I guess. But, that's all we have to do back here at Chuckalook Woods. Everything's taken care of. So, without further ado... Chuckalook Woods, it, we hardly knew ye, but it is time to depart for the last time. What-a-dum, what-a-dum, wum-wa-dum. 
All right, we need to get to the castle. So, castle ten. Up we go. And let's go seek the beanie of queenies. We have accomplished Bean Star! I would wonder where the face came from. You got the Bean Star! Hmm, so the Bean Star is finally back to normal. A message has arrived from Bowletta! I shudder to think! Very good! You fools make fine scavengers! Now I want red and green to bring that Bean Star to me! The drop point is at the far end of the ocean, at that crypt for cruddy jokes called Joke's End. You can't get to Joke's End by walking on the seafloor, so don't try it, Credence. Oh, thank God. Come after you learn how to cross the sea surface. And don't lose the bean star on the way, Butterfingers. Hmm, but if she, he, she, uh, it plans to return Princess Peach when we give the Bean Star. Then, we, then it can't be planning to use Peach's voice to awaken the Bean Star after all. That would seem to be so. Relax, all of you. We can just give the Bean this. Oh, a fake Bean Star, of course. You got a fake Bean Star. Also, please take along and change your clothes for the Princess. I'm sure that Princess Peach likely tried to escape, doing untold damage to her lovely dress. Just thinking of it drives me mad! Curse that Bowletta! At least this old servant can help in some small way. You got Peach's extra dress. To get the joke's end, you have no choice but to travel above the ocean's waves. Perhaps if you go to the beach, you'll find a way to get there. Apparently there once was quite a fine surfing spot at one of this land's beaches. Shin! Excellent! Then the two of you will execute our daring plan! Oh, I almost forgot. You won our little bean star wager, so here are your mushroom coins. How many was this again? 99 trillion, 999 billion, 999 million, 999,999 of them! Money, 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 money! Money! At today's exchange rate, 99 trillion, 999 billion, 999 million, 999,999 mushroom coins comes to 99 bean bean coins. You know, I wonder if that is true to what Tollstar said in the very beginning. Or if their exchange rate really just changes in the matter of what? A couple of days, maybe? At the most? Or maybe Tollstar is just a moron. I could believe that. So, we need to make our way across the waves, and I know exactly where to go in order to do that. Because it's a perk of having played the game before, you know? We just need to go up here. Go over here. Get interrupted! Ignore the lackey peep. I said ignore him! God damn it! Stay away from me. I'm just gonna get rid of you immediately. And we need to make our way to this little humble abode in the caves. Whoa! I was wondering who that might be, and it turns out to be those Mario Brothers again! You guys had the best timing! Well, I was just now finished mastering that brave spanking new how to make technique! Want us to re reforge your hammers for you? In that case, this will be the debut of our new hammer making technique! We'll get to right- we'll get right to re-reforging! Here we go! On your toes! I don't know what that looks like, but it reminds me of something. <gasps> That's the fine work we did! These are deadly, the rottenest hammers available. They are even more powerful than before. You got Ultra Hammers. 
Now it can break those really dense black rocks. But that's hammer, you can break any kind of rock. Any kind at all. We've used all our talents in making these hammers. May they serve you well. So let's try them out on this rock. Bam! We can destroy them. And we have another Thwomp minigame here. I am Thwomp, and I love a good game. Test your luck for a mere 500 coins. Alright. I say middle. Break any of these you want. And just just like last time, there's a scroll in it for us. Lucky! Lucky! You got secret scroll number two. And this time, it's a power-up for Luigi. Oh, yeah. Once again, I have no idea what the move is or how to do it. That will be an adventure finding that out. But yeah, not not only do we have Ultra Hammers, which we need to actually do get to Joke's End, which is why I knew to immediately come here and stuff. But, and not only do we have Super Ultra Hammers now, but we can also... We also now have every single bros move in the game. So as soon as I find a save block, we're gonna... I'm gonna be done for the episode, and... Next time, we will make our way to Joke's End. See you guys then. I think there's a save block somewhere in here. I'll, I'll just go up here. Because I know there's a save block right in front of the castle. And that's good enough for me. Do -do -do -do.